Hey, my name is Kathy Aldridge, and just to kind of let you know, um, this is a, uh, a group effort of many wellness advocates within uh, the Team Dripping Oils team. And so if you don't recognize my face, maybe Melissa or Rachel or Kathy or Selena, you recognize someone else that's um, invited you to be part of the study. And uh, we are going to really have a, a, a sweet a short meeting today, but I want to point out something that um, that you might not know. You actually are in the same study with other people who are maybe in a different study, and I'll explain and how this all works. Okay, so recognize you probably saw an image just like this, right? When you were invited to the study, and you got to choose. Remember that? Does that or maybe? someone chose for you, but you were able to choose what uh, study you wanted to participate in. And, um, you know, one of the things we discovered is that um, you probably could have chosen all of them, okay? Or even, or ranked them in some, and you were able to choose the one that had the highest concern. Okay, so we have many of you who are in an allergy study, um, others of you who are in the sleep study, uh, the pain study and or the mental wellness study. So we purposely put you in this group so you can learn from each other. You can see what other people are doing, what successes they're having with the products that they're using. So if you haven't yet, let's go through a few housekeeping items. Just for fun, use the chat function here and let me know if you have joined the Facebook group. Say, yeah, I'm in it. I, this looks familiar. I joined this Facebook group, if not, there's a direct link to join it right there or ask the person who invited you to add you to it. Now, you can see here from this header that if you don't click on turn on notifications this week, then you might not be able to see a lot of the content that we're gonna try to get across because Facebook has a thing called algorithms that likes to play, uh, they like to play their own games. And so this is just another way to make sure that you can access the content that we're going to um, send you. Another thing is this is just a really short and sweet seven day study. Um, if you want to get text reminders reminding you, hey, there's this awesome post, this video uh, to watch, we have a contest tonight, then text um, in the text part or the, to the number part, you're gonna wanna put 81010, okay? And then the content part, the field where you put the message, you're gonna wanna put at July study to be added to um, a text uh, thread. I mean, not text threaded, an individual texting group. It's through remind so that you can get uh, reminders through this week. Okay. You do not need to download the remind app. Okay. Just, just text that pretty simply. Now within that Facebook group, you'll see that there are daily journals. Okay. This is just an example of one. I really suggest that you print these out to accompany uh, the study that you're in. Okay, right here, I'm just showing you the allergy one so that you can make sure that you can become accountable this week, okay? This is not, a, there's not going to be a test at the end of this. Uh, this purpose of the study is to help you, okay? This purpose of the study is to help as many people as we can with oils, okay? We do these studies to, the, to test different protocols what works best for some people. And you'll find that what works for you may not work the same for someone else. Okay, sometimes an oil protocol will work awesome for one person and not so great for the next. Okay, our bodies are all different. So we've put together protocols for these studies based upon specific products to, to really help gather information so that we can figure out what works best for most people. So it's real win-win. We get to figure out, does this work for you? So if it's not working for you, if you're not getting better sleep, and, you know, two or three days into this, let's mix things up, okay? You're going to discover as you get into oils that there's lots of different options, right? If you are not having a great experience, then reach out to the person that invited you, and let's see if we can get you some additional items, but, but we are pretty confident in the material. Uh, the products that we've sent you because we've done these studies enough to know um, what will really give you a kickstart um, in that area of concern. Now recognize sometimes it, it takes time to get long-term result results and it's important to remind 
you that uh, everyone's bodies are different and we will find a solution that works for you. Sometimes it takes a little trial and error to find it. Uh, the same thing happens when we go to the doctor, right? You're given a medication or a prescription. It's not working for you. You simply don't say, oh, medication doesn't work, right? You go back and you have them prescribe something else. Now, in this case, however, we're asking to be open-minded in the process because hopefully at the end of this, we will find answers to your issues that are safer, cheaper, and more effective than modern methods. So just to let you know who you're hearing from, I have been with doTERRA coaching people across the globe on how best to use these products and natural solutions and discover them for themselves. I'm an advocate of what I call empowerment healthcare, okay? Taking uh, your health into your own hands. I've been with doTERRA almost 10 years. And so I hope you know that um, you have an expert in, in me and also, of course, members of my team who have invited you. Now, my journey began with a small little sample bottle of Digesten. So just like you, someone gave me a little brown bottle and said, maybe put this on your stomach, on the bottom of your feet. I had extreme digestive issues and suffered for about 31 years until I discovered that there was something really, really simple. So I'm hoping that you will have some of the great results like I have. Now, we are gonna go through just three things. It's gonna be super simple tonight. The whole purpose of this pre-study is to give you a little bit of foundation so you know what you have in your, you know, that you got mailed to you, okay? It's really important that you know that there are just simply three cool things. That's all you need to remember, okay? There's three cool things about essential oils. And the first thing is that they're 100% natural and safe. There's nothing added to the oil or taken away. They're simply pure essential oils with no side effects and no addictions. They're safe for babies, children, adults, and the elderly. They are simply extracted from plants uh, that, uh, that have amazing health benefits. So a pure oil is about 50 to 70 times more powerful than herbs. Anyone drink herbal tea or use herbs for remedies? Okay. One drop of peppermint essential oil is equivalent to drinking 28 cups of peppermint tea. So they're really potent. So while I'm, I'm talking about this, I want you to reach uh, those of you who have your samples, go ahead and reach for those. Okay, I'd love to see, um, grab the little bottle of peppermint. Now you're gonna discover that doTERRA oils are really beyond anything you'd find at a supermarket or natural health food store. We have created an entirely different quality level with the CPTG standard. You can see there it's certified pure therapeutic grade which means it's pure and potent. Now doTERRA, um, to go to, the, to this, have this standard, the oils will go through anywhere from 10 to 15 different tests to certify that the essential oil in the bottle is exactly what it says it is. Uh, we source our oils from all over the world where the plants grow best in their natural habitats. And when you do this, the chemistry um, is correct from the plant. So I want you to imagine that you have two lavender plants, okay? One is grown here in Utah where the soil is maybe a little arid, um, dry, we're more of a temperate. And the other is in Bulgaria, right? Where the soil is, is, gives it so many nutrients and beautiful uh, water and, and the elements of, in the air that affect that. So it is make a difference. Oh. Hold on, make sure. Um, let me make sure we've got people in. Thank you, Rachel. Awesome. So um, I don't know, Melissa, if that allows you to see that, but we had a few people that um, weren't able to get in. Hopefully as a co-host that you can maybe help me follow that. So just to kind of put you down, okay, three, I mean, not put you down. <laughs> three essential, the, uh, hold on. We've got someone that is, let me just go ahead and um, mute a few people here and we'll kind of jump back in. No big deal, no big deal. Hey, I know it's kind of fun to be able to do it in this, in this way. I really do love to teach people um, about essential oils. Now, of course, mostly I'm teaching people in person, but during this unique circumstances, we are really lucky to be able to teach people in this way. 
So those of you who have just joined us, we're just talking about some of the foundational principles that we have, uh, that we need to have in order to use essential oils and to feel safe for them, okay? So we're talking about safety and purity. Now, have any of you ever tasted pure maple syrup? Okay, tapped right from the tree. Um, do you know you can actually go to the grocery store for pure maple syrup too? And right next to it on the shelf are products like, oh, Aunt Jemima, Mrs. Butterworth's, right? Which we know contain no maple syrup, okay? But they're disguised to make us think that they do. So that is what I need to kind of drill into your heads to know that essential oils out there are not the same. A lot of times people will say, oh, I've tried essential oils. They just don't, they don't really work, okay? So keep in mind that most essential oils out there have um, had some engineering done to the process to bring it down. Uh, so the oils that you use for your sample, it doesn't get any better. So I want you to take your peppermint sample, if you have that, and put a few drops in your hands. Now remember, you're gonna wanna make sure that you avoid your eyes and things with essential oils. And rub your hands together and breathe it in, okay? That is the power of essential oils. Peppermint is energizing it. It opens your breathing. It cools the body. It helps with head tension, right? Again, you know, protecting your eyes. Now, the second cool thing, and remember, I was gonna tell you three cool things. The second cool thing about essential oils is they are oftentimes more effective um, than over-the-counter and modern approaches to health problems. So I want to point out first, most importantly, that I am not against modern medicine under the right circumstances. There's absolutely a time and place to go to the doctor. But I find that for most things that I deal with day to day, I'm able to go to my oils first and solve the issues in that way. Now, if we have any medical professionals here on the call tonight in our Zoom, okay, what I'm going to share next is going to sound very elementary to you. So just, just bear with me a little bit. Okay, because most of us on this call don't have the medical background training that you might have. So we're going to go through back to biology like 101. Is that okay? Kathy? So, yeah. Just really quick. I am not seeing people either. So I don't know if I'm not a, um, a host or whatever, because I, I can't see people if they, okay. Does that work? Let's yeah. hopefully that works. Okay, yeah. so we'll have to know in the future. Um, a host, not co-host. Perfect. Thanks, Melissa. Okay, so we're going to go through this little short chemistry lesson, and it's really important for you to understand this, because once you really get this part of it, you will understand why essential oils work in your body. So if this is the cell in your body, we know that a cell has oily membrane. The cell membrane that protects the cell keeps all the good things in and all the bad things out. Now, two of the things that are harmful to our cells are bacteria and viruses, okay? Bacteria usually form on the outside of the cell and virus duplicates the DNA on the inside of the cell. All you have to remember is bacteria on the outside, viruses on the inside, okay? So bacteria in this particular one is like the kidney bean, virus is like that little, or that little sun, okay? When you go to the doctor, let's say you have a bacterial infection. What's he gonna re recommend for you? Okay, this is where you get to use the chat. I'd love to see your interaction, okay? What, do you, what happens when you go to the doctor with a bacterial infection? He gives you an antibiotic, right? So this is a water-based synthetic. It cannot pass through the cell and fight virus. How many times have you gone to the doctor and heard, heard that, oh, I'm sorry, it's viral, there's nothing we can do? Okay, right, drink a lot of water, rest, let it run its course. The reason why is because most modern recommendations are water-based, synthetic agents, and frequently come with side effects and addictions. Uh, water and oil don't mix. So if the recommendation from your doctor is water-based, it's gonna have a really hard time penetrating through that oily cell membrane and stopping the duplication of a virus. So this is the part where you can really put this in perspective. Essential oils are different because they're oil based. They are simply plants and the protective element that was created to protect that plant and we're using that to bottle up to take care of ourselves. They can permeate that cell membrane. 
They work on a cellular level with outside effects or addictions, and they can combat bacteria on the outside and prevent the duplication of viruses on the inside, both. Okay, that's why they're often more effective than the modern approach. Okay, second cool thing, and let's talk about On Guard. How many of you have experienced On Guard? Most people who've heard of doTERRA have heard of On Guard. Okay, this is a blend that promotes healthy immune function. Most of us are stockpiling this at this unique time. We're diffusing this in our houses. We're taking the soft gels internally. We're putting the spray on our hands before we leave, before, be, as, as we go to a store, after we go to a store. Um, on Guard can help save the sore throat by simply putting that oil directly on your tongue. And it's a great cleanser for both home and hands. Okay, it's an immune supporting blend. Now the three cool, the third cool thing about essential oils is that they're, they're often cheaper than traditional medical care. Let me explain real quickly. Okay, just for fun, I want you to type into the chat and tell me what is your copay for visiting the doctor. Okay, type it in there. Some of you might be 20, some of you might be 50, some of you might be 10, some of you might even be free. Okay, I want to see it in there. Okay, now the second thing I want you to type in there. Awesome, thank you guys for playing along. Now let's say you go to the doctor and they give you a prescription for an antibiotic. Okay, how much is it gonna cost you to fill that prescription? Okay, type it in, I wanna see. And if you're on your phone, you can swipe left and right to chat if you want, awesome. Okay, we have anywhere from 10 to 70 to 20, okay? Now when someone in my family has an ear infection, we rub two drops of lavender and two drops of melaleuca around their ear. So I don't ever put oils directly in the ear, but I take it on my finger like this and I'll put it on the inside scoop and on the back side of my ear. And so 12 hours later, the ear infection's cleared up. It cost me about 64 cents. So whether it costs you $20 for the copay and the prescription or it costs you nothing because you live in a country with free healthcare, Essential oils are still less, ex less expensive than the gas in the car you pay to go to the doctor's office. Okay, that's not including the half day of work that you probably had to take off for this emergency. And we haven't taken into effect the antibiotics that you were given maybe harm your gut or your child's gut. And then you're gonna have to drop buy extra probiotics for two weeks to fix the damage, which is even gonna cost you more money. So we save hundreds of dollars a year in medical costs because of essential oils. I want to recognize that you cannot afford not to use natural solutions. And that is the third reason why that cool thing about essential oil. And that's why essential oils are cheaper than traditional medical care. Now, how many of you have, have had an experience or got doTERRA lavender in your kit? Okay, I like to refer to lavender as the mother oil. It's for all things calming. It's calming for the skin. It's an incredible natural antihistamine. You can put lavender under your nose. Those of you who are in the allergy, allergy um, study, you're gonna wanna listen. Around your eyes and under your nose. It's incredible. It's like the Swiss army knife of oils. So real quick again, three cool things about essential oils. Safe, effective, affordable. Got it? There's a test later. No, there's not, I'm just teasing. Okay, last but not least, we're gonna go through the three ways to use essential oils because maybe you got ways to use or got oils um, in an internal, um, in a topical way, and in an aromatic way. So the first one we're gonna focus on is aromatic. I want you all to take your fingers and pitch right above your nose, okay? Right under your fingers, okay, you can take your fingers off. <laughs> right under your fingers is your olfactory nerve. This nerve sends messages to the limbic system in your brain, which in turn sends messages all over your body. And sometimes people say it's, think it's hokey to say oils could affect the body by just by smelling them, but let me illustrate. You know when you go to the hospital for surgery? Mmm, that's red manner, by the way. And you need to be put under, what do they do for anesthesia? They usually don't give you a pill. Um, they don't give you a shot. They ask you to breathe through a mask, right? and count down to 10. And most of us are completely out before or under before we even get to 10. So when you breathe those synthetic compounds through the mask, your olfactory system is powerful enough to send signals to your body to knock you out in under 10 seconds. So that's the fastest way to access the brain. So this happens the exact same way with natural compounds found in essential oils. 
when we breathe in the natural compounds from essential oils, they hit the olfactory nerve and the olfactory nerve sends signals to the limbic system, which in turn sends signals to the rest of our body. This can happen in as little as 30 seconds. Okay, so you saw we put peppermint oil in our hands. We breathe that in, natural pick me up, natural mood enhancers, help support the respiratory system. Two of my very favorite oils to use in an emotional and then of course a breathing level, are wild orange and breathe. If you're in the allergy study, you've got a sample of breathe oil. Breathe helps support lungs and sinuses. Okay, it promotes clear breathing day and night. Those of you who snore might consider that one. Wild orange is an oil I carry in my purse. It's energizing, it's invigorating, uplifts the mood. And don't worry, we're gonna show you how to access all of these oils at cheaper than wholesale after the study. Okay, so those of you who have an awesome experience, we're gonna show you how to get these, of course, better than how we get them. Okay. So let me just go ahead and mute my friend here unless she's less, someone has a question. So are you trying to mute that one? Awesome, thank you. So the second way to use essential oils um, is topically. This um, is directly onto your skin. Now you don't wanna do this um, if you have really sensitive skin, you're gonna want to dilute them. We have a fractionated coconut oil that you can see here in this image or another carrier oil. It's just as effective, it just takes a little longer to absorb. Now you can even put oils on the bottom of your feet, including babies, okay? And it won't bother them. In fact, we have really, our, the pores on the bottom of our feet are really big and they can absorb quickly in the bloodstream and it's a great way to get oils in your system fast. Uh, one of the ways that I like to point out um, is that topical is really great for when you have headaches. Believe it or not, you can put oils on the bottom of your feet, okay? And it helps combat that. Um, I wanted to show you my favorite way. Hold on, I got that out of line a little bit. I'm coming back to that one, I promise. Okay, um, to use the, the oils topically, some of my favorite oils to use topically. I have gained, like everyone else, that like COVID-19 pounds, okay? I'm just gonna admit it. And so now I am working my little, I'm working out really hard Okay, so these are oils I'm using on a regular basis. Um, deep blue, I use this in the cream form. And those of you who are in the pain study, I tell you, I am using this every single day on my glutes, on my hamstrings, on my knees. Deep blue rub is one of the most powerful oils that we have in regards to pain. So think about, um, you know, and then digest then. We think about taking internally, even putting it on the outside of your stomach helps and supports in such a great way. Now, the third way to use essential oils is, are, is internally. And in fact, this, these, these essential oils are not only safe to take internally, they are recommended. Okay, the CPTG standard means that these oils are medicinal grade and they're completely safe to ingest, unlike most other brands. You can put them in your mouth, drink them in your water. I always suggest a stainless steel or a glass bottle. If you don't like the taste, then put them in a little veggie capsule and you can get those from doTERRA. It's like concocting your own little natural remedy. So I want you to think about what are some of the things that are health concerns that you would uh, combat by using these oils internally. Okay, right. Now, what about, let's say we have a headache. Okay, what oils would be great for all three applications? peppermint, which you have, right, on the on your temples, maybe on the tip of your tongue, breathing that in, frankincense on the back of your neck, on the tip of your tongue, okay? Now, just for fun, I want you to tap or type in the, in the chat function the three ways to use essential oils. Okay, while you're chat, type, typing that, I'm going to tell you about these two on the page. I like to use frankincense internally because frankincense has been proven to cross through the blood brain barrier of the brain. Okay. It is uh, supports uh, in times of anxiousness and promotes calm feel feelings. It is an oil that fights anti aging, fights that supports anti aging. Okay. Oh, someone is writing on my screen. I love it when someone figures that out. Stop scribbling on the screen. <laughs> Okay, lemon oil, you guys, is an incredible oil for cleaning. I put lemon oil in a glass spray bottle and spray things down, my stainless steel, 
It's antibacterial and antiviral in nature. So the three cool ways, awesome. Aromatically, topically, and internally. Okay, now just for fun, I'm gonna share with you this blend and you're going to want to look closely. Inside this blend is lime, tangerine, and spearmint. This is my very favorite combination to drink internally. It's like uh, a summer spritzer, okay? And putting it in sparkling water is incredible, okay? Screenshot if you want, shift command four, or if on your phone, screenshot this one. This is one you're gonna wanna keep your, for your arsenal. So back to um, some of my other favorite things. I, you heard me talk a little bit about deep blue rub. Now, I want you guys to focus, quote, uh, listen closely for just a minute. We're gonna give every one of you a chance to get this oil for free at the end of the study. Okay, this is a $35 tube of deep blue rub, which is incredible. Okay, this oil, this rub is incredible for pain or tension. So let's just spend the next five minutes going through your specific study. And thank you guys. Um, we really wanted to make sure this stayed around 30 minutes and we appreciate you hanging on. Um, there's just two live events that we want you to be on. This one is the one that's pre-study. And next Monday, we're going to ask you to just jump on same time, same place for the post-study webinar where we, we want to hear how this, how this goes for you, okay? So we have uh, the four areas in which we are covering this week, okay? If you are in the allergy study, listen closely, okay? You received samples of breathe oil, 14 tri-e soft gels. Inside that tri-e soft gel are lavender, lemon, and peppermint. This trio is incredible to combat seasonal allergies. Um, we also gave you lavender. Remember, I was telling you about the natural antihistamine methods. So apply one to two drops of breathe to the chest two times daily. How I would do that is put a little bit in my hand, rub it in, breathe it in, and then put it to my chest. Okay. And then if I had extras on my hand, I'm going to put it on the bottom of my feet. Now, lavender around the bridge of the nose, around the eyes, and onto the throat twice daily. If you feel a little bit of a, you know, that little kind of within your throat, Use that peppermint oil. If you got a peppermint oil um, in with your samples, peppermint on the tip of your tongue. Okay, gargle a little bit in water. Any questions about the allergy studies? Those of you on the allergy study, any questions? Okay, you can chat, unmute yourself. We're good? Okay. Now the second one we're talking about is mental wellness. Okay, those of you who are in the mental wellness study, I am really excited for you. Okay, these products have changed my life. Those of you who um, have what I call high mountains and low valleys because of your mood, um, Adaptive, which we've given you here, helps you kind of balance those out. Inside of that, you have Adaptive Oil and Adaptive Soft Gel. The combination is a little bit different in the one that is applied topically and one that's taken internally. So do not take the oil of adaptive internally and or balance. The only product you take internally is the soft gel, okay? You've been given seven of those. Um, I like to take those first thing in the morning, uh, that, that capsule. And if you have a diffuser, I highly suggest that you diffuse maybe adaptive and wild orange if you've got that sample or balance in the diffuser and enjoy throughout the day. Three to four drops, is great if you've got that in a diffuser. Now you're gonna put two or three drops of adaptive on the back of your neck, pulse points behind your ears. Balance is really great on the insides of the wrist, bottom of your feet. Two to three drops, two to two times daily. And remember, print out your worksheet and take notes for yourself, okay? We really wanna hear how this goes for you. And the person that invited you, text them. Let them know, oh my gosh, I did notice something different today. I was wondering why I was a little bit calmer. I was wondering why I got stuff done, okay? And notice how this changes for you. Now, if you're in the pain study, um, we have sent you Copaiba, which is the sister to CBD. It works on the same receptors, but it doesn't have the same addiction um, properties as CBD. You're gonna learn a lot more about Copaiba soft gels and how it works on the inflammatory response. You've received Aromatouch, which is our massage oil. It has fibers for circulation. It has some incredible oils that I've been using to help me through my soreness, as well as, of course, that deep blue rub. Now, use that, those, I think we gave you 
quite a few uh, packets of the deep blue rub. A little goes a long way, but use it often. Okay, don't just like use it once a day. If you're in pain, you've got to go and put it on several times throughout the day because it's not just to help minimize the pain, it's actually going to go to work to erase the pain. Okay, oils work on a cellular level. They cross through the skin and help to repair muscle and tissue. That's really important to know. Okay, the last study that you might be involved with is the sleep study. And this is one that we've toyed around with and really had a great um, uh, response. And if you've received oils that are different than this, please reach out to the individual who sampled you. And if it's different than this, just ask for specific directions. So you've gotten Serenity oil and Serenity capsules. Now, just like the adaptive, I told you, this Serenity oil is not to be taken internally. It's to be applied topically, to be smelled uh, through your olfactory, aromatically, and or diffused. Only the soft gel is what you take internally. And I highly suggest that you partner the sleep study to what I call a, an evening routine. That you're eliminating your visual receptors, that's your cell phone, TV watching at least 15 minutes before bed to activate the natural melatonin and decrease the serotonin within your life, okay? That itself, partnered with these incredible products, are going to help you have a better sleep within the, these next seven days. So thank you all for being a part of this. And just one more time, go through those study requirements. You've joined the Facebook group, awesome. In the Facebook group, you're going to have three videos and or content to watch each day, right? Maybe four sometimes. Get on there, do the homework, commit to this. Learn about the products that you have and products that the other people have received. Because chances are, if you're in that sleep study, you were actually really curious about the one, mental wellness study. And all of these products can help and support you in either way. Now, I would suggest that you attend, of course, plan and calendar right now, the post-study webinar on Monday, July 20th, same time. Track your, your progress. Comment regularly in that Facebook group, okay? That's where we'll have essential oil giveaways. In fact, I think we have a giveaway tonight, don't we, Melissa? Melissa, do you wanna join me online? Uh, I mean, on, um, on the computer real quick and talk to them about um, the, the giveaway that we have tonight. So the um, first giveaway is for you guys to take a photo of where you are, um, where your oils are, you know, do you have them next to your bed? Do you have them, you know, by the kitchen sink? Where do you keep your oils so that you remember to take them? Now, normally I was going, you know, I give the, you guys, you know, take your photo and post it tonight and I'll say the winner tomorrow. But this one, I will wait another day because five of you do not have your oils yet, which is quite a few of you. So I will wait um, a day or two as I watch for you guys to receive your oils before, um, so that you guys can still, you know, be in on this contest too and post where you're, um, where you're gonna put your oils. Okay, any questions on that? No, thank you. Okay. <laughs> Okay, are there any questions that um, hopefully about either about the materials we've covered tonight or about any of the products that you've received? Awesome. Well, expect to hear from each one of us or one of us live each day, and we hope to catch you. Um, we will have an open Q&A on Wednesday, Melissa. Is that Thursday. right? Thursday. Um, I actually Thursday this time around. Thursday. It's more in the middle, so it'll be on Thursday. Awesome. So look for that. And that's a great uh, place to meet Melissa and I again and say, hey, what about this? What about this? I'm feeling this. I'm feeling that way. And we can help you shift things and mix things up. I'm really excited for you all. I love to hear your responses from these studies. So good luck, everybody. Bye, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thanks. 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 Testing backlogs, people who may be infected waiting for tests and results. Well, some that